Okay, so we are going to learn how to SSH into our EC2 instance using Windows. And for this, we used to say, what, what, what is SSH? Well, SSH to me is one of the most important function, especially when you deal with Amazon Cloud. It will basically allow you to control a machine remotely all using the command line, okay? And so what does it look like? Well, basically we have our EC2 machine and it's running Amazon Linux 2 and it has a public IP. And I don't know if you remember, but we had an SSH security group on it and basically we allowed SSH on port 22 to any IP, which basically allows our Windows machine to connect over the internet directly into the machine and control it using the command line. So we'll see how to do the requirements for parameterizing basically our Windows. And so we'll use PuTTY to do SSH. So this is a free tool available online. And as you can see, it's a little bit tricky to use the first time, but we'll get used to it and we'll learn how to SSH into, window, uh, into Linux using PuTTY. So let's get started. So I am in my Windows machine. And the first thing I'm going to do is download PuTTY. So I Google PuTTY and take the first link. And you can say you can download PuTTY here. So I'll go ahead and download it. And I'm under Windows, so you can choose whatever 64-bit or 32-bit installer. I'll just use the 64-bit and run it. Then you may get a little warning when the thing runs to install, but the installation process overall should go really smoothly. So you go ahead and click on Next, Next, Next again, and Yes. So it goes ahead and install PuTTY, and then we don't need to see the README, and we finish. So the first thing you have to do is to go under Windows, scroll down and all the way to the bottom we see a putty folder and underneath we have putty gen. Now using putty gen we are going to convert the key we have downloaded from the EC2 console and we're going to convert it into a format that putty likes which is called ppk. So we'll go and click on file and click on load private key. Now we need to go wherever you downloaded your private key so for me it's on my desktop. Click on the desktop and you need to open all files. Here is ec2tutorial.pem, and basically it says successfully imported foreign key, okay? And basically it says to use this key with PuTTY, you need to save private key command. So the way I did it again is doing load, and make sure to scroll down and click on all files to see the file that you've just downloaded. So here is our, uh, our key, and it's imported. And what I'll do is, as this said, click on the save private key. Here we get a warning saying, are you sure you want to save this key without a passphrase to protect it? Yes, for me, this is fine. I don't need a passphrase, but if you want extra security, you can say no and you can save with a passphrase. So here on the desktop, I will say EC2 tutorial and then you see dot PPK. Okay, so this is a putty private key file. We click on save and now we have done uh, the conversion of our key from a PEM file to a PPK file. So we can close this, and this is something you just have to do once. Now if we go back to Windows and scroll down and look for uh, PuTTY, one more time, here is PuTTY. Here we can now go ahead and open the program PuTTY. And here is our PuTTY program. Now we need to go ahead and basically enter the IP address of our EC2 machine. So for this, under my EC2 machine, we see there is an IPv4 public IP, and this is what we'll use. So I'll just copy the public IP and paste this under hostname. Now we also need to add a username. So I'll do ec2 minus user at the IP address. ec2 user is basically the hostname we'll use to log into our ec2 instance. Now what we can go ahead and save this and so I'll give it a name, I'll call it my ec2 instance. So we save it, but we're not done yet. So click on my ec2 instance, obviously, and we click on yes, and so we get a little server host key is not cached in the registry, and then we get an error saying no supported authentication method available because we haven't linked our private key file. So if you get that error, you can close this. We go back to PuTTY, and I like to show you errors before I show you how things work because these are errors you can have all along. So we click on my instance, click on load, and now we need to reference the PPK file. So for this, we go to connection, SSH, we open this, and there is uh, auth, and then under auth, there is a private key file for authentication, which you can browse, and then we go to desktop or wherever you have saved your PPK file, and reference your ec tutorialppk file. Now we're almost done, don't click on open just yet. We go back to session, and we save it again. This way, our my ec 2 instance save session will have the PPK file. 
Now we click on open and all of a sudden things work. We are inside the machine. So we have a nice terminal and we can see that we are inside the machine. For example, if I type, who am I? I say, I'm easy to user, great. And if I ping google.com, I can see that google.com is responding and we get information from it. So control C and then to exit, you can just press exit or exit using the way you prefer. So I'll just go and press exit. And as you can see, things just exit it. Now, if I go back and one last time to putty, just to verify that thing worked properly. If I click on my students and load the profile, usually if I go to SSH and again off, now the private key file should be saved and so we're good to go. We can just directly click on open and we have SSH into the machine. Now what we'll do is that we'll do this pretty often. So make sure you have the hang of it and we're ready to go into the next lecture to do some more fun stuff with AC2. So see you then.